So I've been in this coaching space online for about six years now. Y'all really want to know what I think about it? Keep watching. One of my major beats with the coaching industry and the personal development industry is this sort of belief of like throwing caution to the wind and just like trusting in blind faith and not really, you know, just manifesting and believing in that things are just going to happen just because. And I have a problem with that because it excludes people who are marginalized. It excludes people who don't come from privilege, who, you know, don't have family or a wealthy spouse supporting their dreams. Like that kind of thinking actually excludes those of us who are as privileged and we have to plan everything. We have to be strategic about everything that we do. And we can't just like throw caution to the wind like that. And there's this prevalent belief throughout the community, the coaching community, that if, you know, if you don't throw caution to the wind, if you don't, you know, chase your dreams immediately and just do all this crazy stuff that you don't want it bad enough, you don't believe in yourself enough, and that you're not serious about what it is you say you want. And I think that's very flawed and again, exclusive and it's very privileged thinking because to say that, you know, you're only targeting, you're only catering to people who have all of this, you know, money to throw away, all this privilege to throw away, all of these advantages that the rest of us don't have when you say things like that. And you forget about the group of people who actually have to plan and be strategic and, you know, be creative and come up with solutions to, you know, pursue their dreams and pursue whatever it is they want to pursue. And to think that way, to think that just because someone is not doing all of that, you know, just flying by the seat of their pants, just to think that way, that's kind of, that's actually pretty dangerous to think that way because you don't know what, you know, what their background is. You don't know what obstacles they have to overcome. You actually don't know like what it is they're working with, what resources they're working with. And so in a way, I think the personal development in the coaching industry excludes people who are less privileged. And it's more, you know, it's more for the people who are privileged. And so I find that to be incredibly annoying and a pain in the behind. So annoying. I hate to see that. But one thing I am so happy to see lately is that we are more and more coaches and more and more personal development figures are getting away from that. More of us are able to talk about the real stuff, you know, the dirty stuff that goes into achieving our dreams. We're able to, you know, be open about the fact that it's not always easy, you know, to come up with money to go on a trip or to spend all this money investing in this thing that we want to do. It's not always easy. It's not glamorous. And so a lot of us are real with that. There's a lot more of us out here who are, who are actually open about our journeys and how messy they can be. And so I'm glad to see more of that. I'm glad to see more of the coaching industry, including people with disabilities, um, black people, marginalized communities, people who aren't as privileged. Um, I'm glad to see that our scope is widening because back when I got into the industry back in 2016, it was not that way. Like it was very much whitewashed and like a privileged one way of thinking. And so now I'm glad to see that we have expanded and we are including more people in the equation, which I think we needed to do anyway. I think it's high time we did that. And so that is my take on the coaching industry now. The thing that I'm sick of seeing, the thing that I'm glad that we are starting to see, and I hope it continues to go in this direction. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you enjoyed my take on the personal development and coaching industry. I will talk to y'all soon. Thank you for watching. Ciao.